Welcome to the Draeger AeroTest Simul 10 HP instructional video. I'm Ed Ligas, the U.S. Product Manager for the AeroTest, and I'll be guiding you through the assembly and testing step by step. Using the AeroTest is an effective way to check if your breathing air is safe and uncontaminated. It is quick and convenient, providing results in a matter of minutes. The AeroTest Simul 10 HP is designed for high pressure applications directly from a compressor or high pressure SCBA cylinders up to 4500 PSI. Please read the instruction manual and the instructions for use for each tube and the oil impactor before using the AeroTest. And check the back of the package of tubes to ensure the tubes are within shelf life. When you open the kit, you will see the measuring device with the flexible tube holders, high pressure reducer, CGA347 adapter for the SCBA cylinders, a timer, a package of oil impactors, impactor adapter, a tube opener, and a carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and water vapor Draeger tubes. Now we'll connect the AeroTest to an SCBA cylinder. Start by attaching the CGA347 adapter directly to the cylinder valve. Simply hand tighten the adapter. Don't use a wrench. Next, connect the pressure reducer to the adapter using the hand wheel to tighten it. Connect the measuring device to the pressure reducer using the quick connect fitting and the aero test assembly is complete. Open the cylinder valve to flush the aero test. If the aero test is used regularly, a three minute flush is sufficient. Otherwise, please flush it for at least six minutes. Periodically, you'll do a bubble test, which checks the flow. Connect the hose to each tube holder, placing the other end of the hose in a container of water. The carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide will have a fairly rapid bubble rate, whereas the oil and water vapor will have a much higher bubble rate. If the bubble rate is slow, do not use the aero test and send it to the Draeger service depot. Once it's been flushed, we can test the cylinder air for carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oil, and water vapor. Attach an oil impactor to the impactor adapter, then insert the adapter into the bottom of the holder designated for oil, leaving the top part disconnected for now. Draeger replaced the oil tube with the oil impactor some years ago because the impactor displays mineral oils and synthetic oils independent of the oil type or viscosity. Select one of the carbon dioxide tubes from the case Score and snap off the tips using the tube opener. The arrow on the tube indicates the direction of airflow. Insert the tube into the bottom of the correct holder, leaving the top part disconnected for now. Do the same thing for the carbon monoxide tube. Finally, take one of the water vapor tubes, but in this case, we only remove the tip from the outlet end of the tube, the end the arrow points towards. This tube is extremely sensitive to ambient humidity, so we won't remove the other tip until we're ready to start the test. Insert the tube into the holder, leaving the top part disconnected. Set the timer to 5 minutes. When you're ready to begin the test, start the timer and immediately connect the oil impactor, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide tubes to the inlet of the holder. Then use the tube opener to remove the tip from the water vapor tube and connect to the inlet of the holder. The carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and oil tests take five minutes, and the water vapor takes 10 minutes. When the timer alarms, immediately reset it to five minutes, then remove and evaluate the oil impactor, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide tubes while the test continues for water vapor. Start with the carbon dioxide tube. Using an indelible marker, mark the endpoint of the bluish violet discoloration on the carbon dioxide tube. You will always read the total length of the slightest discoloration on a detector tube. In this case, the tube reached 300 ppm. There are instructions for reading results inside each box of Draeger tubes. Next, look at the carbon monoxide tube. There is no discoloration visible on the indication layer of this tube. A positive indication for carbon monoxide would result in a light brownish discoloration with a light green front. Press down on the black ring of the adapter to release the impactor. 
Remove the tear-off cover with the Draeger logo to show the indication surface. Compare the pattern on the impactor with the three reference standards in the IFU. The images are at 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 1.0 milligrams of oil per cubic meter. This one shows no visible pattern, so the amount of oil is below the detection limit of the oil impactor. When the alarm goes off, remove the water vapor tube and immediately evaluate the reddish-brown discoloration on the tube. Compressed breathing air requires the use of a 10-minute test using the 20 to 250 scale. This tube shows a discoloration less than 20 milligrams of water per cubic meter. The oxygen content of the air may also be determined with the aero test using a T-piece, the oxygen 5% C-tube, and the Draeger Acuro. Connect the T-piece to the H2O holder. Remove the tips of the oxygen tube. Connect the tube to the hose on the T-piece with the arrow on the tube pointing away from the T-piece. Connect the Acura to the tube and completely compress the pump. Exercise caution as the oxygen tube will become quite hot. At the end of the stroke cycle, read the tube immediately. Oxygen reads to the midpoint of the change in the discoloration. We will be using the Acuro scale. This reading is 19.8 volume percent oxygen. Once the tests are complete, you can turn off the air cylinder valve. When the pressure bleeds down to zero, disconnect the measuring device and remove each part, storing them back in the case until next use. The NFPA standard specifies oxygen to be 19.5 to 23.5 volume percent, carbon monoxide less than or equal to 5 ppm, carbon dioxide less than or equal to 500 ppm, oil less than or equal to 2 milligrams per cubic meter, and water content less than or equal to 24 ppm, or 18 milligrams per cubic meter. Other standards may vary slightly. Please confirm the limits with the most current standard. If the measurement results exceed the standards or established internal limits, please consult your supervisor. This may be an indication the air compressor requires maintenance. If you still have questions about the Draeger Air Test Simultan HP, contact the Draeger Technical Support Team. Thank you.